And to think, I didn't know if we had enough Christmas decorations or not. I mean, oh my god. I can seriously talk about a Christmas haul. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today it's finally time to do my first round of Christmas shopping. Now that Halloween's over, my birthday's over, I'm now full on in the Christmas spirit. So it's time to get cosy because we're in that time of year and I have so many Christmas videos planned. I'm so excited. This is literally the best time of year. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, I've made just like a little temporary background until I unbox everything I've got and then I can actually fully decorate my room. Is it too early for Christmas shopping? I'm not quite sure. I mean, if I had it my way, I would have the tree up in October. <laughs> like, I just get Christmassy really early. I don't know about you. I haven't properly started Christmas shopping yet, like gifts for my friends and family, but I have done a huge haul on Christmas decorations, which I'm going to show you. So all of these are really budget as well. Me and Stephen have recently just moved into a house, so this is our very first Christmas. Decorating a tree, decorating a house on our own with no parents. So it's kind of like a little bit stressful because I've been like stressing over which colours look best, what colours do I want, and like hoping that we'll agree on the theme because it has to look perfect. It's Christmas. It has to look perfect. So everything is really, really affordable, but I have lots of things from budget stores such as Bargain Buys, B&M's, Home Bargains, as well as Amazon and The Range as well. Okay, where on earth do I start? <laughs> so I suppose these are kind of gifty, but they can also be decorations as well, which is really, really handy. I didn't actually think about using them for the decoration purposes but now that I think about it they would look really really good from home bargains they currently have lots of really pretty gift boxes I got one of these little ones which was just 99 pence and then I also got a larger one which was 199 and oh my god how pretty is that in the light it's absolutely unreal for that price they're just gorgeous i think they are they look luxury like they look expensive but they're really really budget so obviously like i said you could use these as gift boxes put little bits and pieces in for your friends and family which is probably what i'm going to do but you could also get like a lot of the small ones and put them under the tree and maybe like tie them with a bow and stuff like that just for decoration i think that would look really really nice um you know what, I might actually go out and buy some more and do that very thing because our tree theme we've decided on is silver and blue and look at the colours. <laughs> it would be crazy not to do that. Inside of this little one, there's some things I can't show you because they are presents for people. But I have got just a lot of like little chocolate Santas, chocolate coins. Basically just picked up a bundle of them and I think they're only about 30 pence each. So if you're looking for little stocking fillers, go to Home Bargains or B&M's. They are very, very good for little chocolates and stuff like that. Just, you know, little bits and pieces. I also got this really pretty snowman decoration from Home Bargains as well. This was 2 dollars and I think it looks so pretty for the price. Now I wouldn't say it's 100% well made, it's not perfect but can you expect that for that price? It looks nice and that's all that matters. Yes, it might fall to bits in a few years but who cares, it was cheap. It's nice for like starter decorations like how we're building our decorations and house from scratch. It's nice to start off on a budget. So yeah, if you have a silver or white theme, check this out in Home Bargains. They have loads of different colors as well and lots of different pretty wreaths to hang around the house. So yeah. So the next thing I picked up was from Bargain Buys. Not many people that I know of actually go to Bargain Buys as much as Home Bargains and B&M's, but it is really, really good. So if you have one near you, I recommend you check it out. So I think there was only one thing I got from there at the time, but they do have lots of lovely stuff in. So because we all need the perfect Christmas scent, 
I got these gorgeous gingerbread tea lights and honestly they smell so nice even before they're lit. I can't wait for cosy Christmas nights on the sofa with your pyjamas on, slippers and like burning scents like these just make it so cosy and it brings like the Christmas atmosphere just everywhere. Did that make sense? Anyways, they're nice. They're really, really nice. So yeah, pop down to Bargain Buys and have a look at the Christmas stuff because they are really, really nice. And I believe these were only a pound, if not less. And from Home Bargains, whether you like wrapping or hate wrapping, it's something everyone has to do. I personally love wrapping, so I pick out like the nicest things that I see. The nicest wrapping paper, ribbons, bows. I spend so much time wrapping presents. But I just find it therapeutic and it's just really nice and calming and also to know that you are wrapping a gift nicely for someone makes it look like you've made so much more of an effort than just handing them a bag. So I personally like to wrap in warm colours like golds, browns, as like traditional cosy colours. So I picked up this wrap accessory pack from Home Bargains. It has some bows, some really pretty like coils of, what's it called? Ribbon. And some gift tags. So these are all in white and gold. And this was $1.99 from Home Bargains. And they also do some really pretty wrapping paper. So I got this, so I got this brown and gold wrapping paper. It's got glittery trees all down it. It's very simple, but very elegant and really, really pretty. And then the other one is also brown, but it has red Christmas trees and Merry Christmas written across it. I love wrapping in like brown toned paper. It looks so traditional and even like tying with like string, a bit of string like I've got on here. Looks really, really traditional and it's, it's hard to explain, but it looks really nice. I really, really like that kind of vibe. So I think I'm going to go for that this year. So the next things I have are from B&M's and oh my God, their Christmas baubles are so pretty. So since we've decided on like an icy themed tree, I found the most perfect bauble to go with our theme. So this was 2 dollars and although that's expensive for a bauble, I'm pretty sure this is glass and it lights up. Oh, that didn't make as much of an impact as I thought it would. <laughs> but in the dark, it lights up really brightly. It looks so pretty. It's got three trees in the turquoise color that we're going for. And then at the front, it has this really pretty silver and white reindeer. It also has lots of fake snow in the back. And if you tip it, it falls all around the bauble. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm so glad I found it because it is the exact colours that we are going for. So along with this, I also got two more packs of baubles. I picked up a white pack and a turquoise pack. These were 2 dollars each, but again, they look expensive, they look kind of fancy. It's not like the ones I've seen in the shops recently that are just really cheap plasticky baubles. And $2.99 for a pack of six baubles is still really, really affordable for baubles that look this good. So I would definitely have a look at the Christmas section in B&M's because they do have some lovely stuff. Like not just the stuff that I've got, but the other stuff I probably will go back and get because they have so much like tinsel and baubles and decorations and like reindeers that stand up and just unusual stuff and I just really think that it's a good place to go for your Christmas stuff this year. Next I got these Christmas cards from Card Factory. I know Card Factory is typical, loads of people go there, it's cheap, affordable but they do have some really lovely stuff. So this was from their deluxe these are from the deluxe section in Card Factory, so you can get your ordinary cards, the cheap ones, 99 pence, stuff like that, they're still lovely. But if you want like a big box of cards to send out to your family, close relatives and friends, these boxes are the ones to look for. You get 12 cards for 2 dollars which I think is amazing for how lovely they look. So you can even just see on the box that it is shining away, it's covered in glitter, it's absolutely gorgeous and inside the cards look exactly as you would expect from that design. 
so they look so expensive and I don't know what it is about them they just they caught my eye straight away they look really expensive but they obviously aren't and I can't wait to send these out to like people really close to me maybe I should start on the Amazon stuff because there's like three huge boxes that I need to unbox so first of all we've got our tree lights so since we're going for an icy looking tree we opted for bright white lights instead of warm white I think they should go well if not I suppose we can just get some warm ones like it doesn't really matter I'd love to be able to blend cool tones with warm tones as well because as you know I love my rose gold which is warmer I love gold brown stuff like that but as well I do love like the silver whites and blues that were picked out as well so I think if I could like blend it together that would look really nice because although the icy look is very traditional Christmas it's like snow it's it, it, it makes you feel cold but you know that I like to feel warm so I kind of like a mix so these lights are from Amazon they are 200 multi-action bright white LED fairy lights 20 meters in length and I believe these were 10.99 I've plugged them in and checked them and they are really bright they have I think four different settings um, I would probably just leave them on normal just to stay on all the time but obviously you can change them there's just like a button on the side of the plug and they're really simple to use so so I would recommend these they are really bright and so far so good I noticed yesterday that B&M's have a lot of fairy lights as well I didn't check how much they were but I would assume that they would be that price or below so I mean if you want to check out B&M's that's probably a good idea because they have like a whole aisle of just lights and there's like testers and stuff like that so yeah I'm so excited about these like you don't even understand so I'm finally changing the cushion theme that I've got behind here and don't get us wrong I absolutely love my cushions like I adore them but it's Christmas and we need to get in the spirit so I bought four cushion covers and they are the most beautiful things I've ever seen oh my god they're so soft so the first one I got is this absolutely gorgeous cushion cover it says Merry Christmas Happy New Year and now you can see why I would like to blend the warm and the cool tones because because this has gold on it and it looks absolutely beautiful and I'd hate to not be able to have this in the living room I don't want it to clash so hopefully everything blends smoothly together the next one is this really pretty reindeer I didn't expect them to look this good when I saw them on Amazon I thought they would just be the cheap quality like the other ones which I got for about 20 pence each of eBay but they are unbelievably soft like I cannot stress this enough if you are looking for Christmas cushions get these this one also says Merry Christmas but in a different snowflake design and this one also says Merry Christmas but it has a tree on it I would say this is my favourite, you know, because I really love how the tree is made out of snowflakes. I don't know, it just, it looks really expensive and it feels expensive. So the plan is to keep two up here and two downstairs, so hopefully the plan goes to plan. They are definitely going to be the favourite things out of everything I've got and I am not even joking. Even rose gold tinsel cannot change my mind about that. And I forgot to mention they were $10.99 off Amazon for a pack of four. Next I have some more baubles off Amazon and these were like the first lot that we ordered before I went to B&M's and got like the other bits and pieces that I got yesterday. So first of all I've got a silver and white pack which is really going to set off the icy look. Why is the ring light doing that for? Now these weren't as cheap as the others, I believe it was £10 for the set, may have been 12 but these look expensive, I mean they all do look expensive but you can tell like you have paid for what you've got. They're very elegant, very unusual, lots of different choices. So you've got your very small baubles at the top. Then we have the medium sizes down both sides and as you can see they are all very different patterns. And then in the middle we have some heart shaped ones, some like little acorns which I thought were really pretty, they're like frosted, and some icicles. 
and they are all a mixture of silver, white, and they all have glitter on as well. I think these are absolutely beautiful. These are from Victor's Workshop, which is a brand I've seen a lot on Amazon. It seems to be really, really good. They have like loads of different varieties, and like I said, they look expensive, and you get a lot for the money, to be fair. I'm really happy with them, and I can't wait to decorate the tree. We also got these blue, sort of turquoise coloured baubles. These are by Accents. And these ones are really pretty as well. They're not your standard plain baubles. They all have glitter on or a design on. These were ordered off Amazon as well. And I'll find out the price because I don't know either. Oh, there's more stuff than I thought. Oh my God. <laughs> more packaging. There's just a few bits and pieces in here. So first of all, I got this woolly tree skirt. Is it called a tree skirt? It's to put on a carpet underneath your tree. It's relatively soft. It's not like unbelievable like sheepskin or anything like that, but it's relatively soft. It looks good quality. I also picked this nice white sparkly star for the top of the tree. I know we're going mainly silver, but I wanted to add quite a bit of white in, so I thought a white star would look better than silver. It's kind of, you can see it more, it's going to make more of an impact. This is actually very good quality. The glitter isn't coming off at all, and I like the ones that have a spring like this on the bottom because they're really easy to put on the tree. So I'm very happy with that, and I'm so excited to decorate. Oh my god, this next thing. We can't have just one tree, no. Why would you have just one Christmas tree? I need one for in here, so I found some rose gold baubles. The cutest little mini baubles, all rose gold and glittery. These are just absolutely perfect when I saw them and they will fit my mini tree really nicely, which I'll be showing you because I'm pretty sure it's in that box. So we'll get to it. So I've got the rose gold baubles and then I also have the rose gold tinsel to go with it. So this is why it's been sitting in the back. It's to go on the tree. The tinsel was only 99 pence from the range. The range have some amazing Christmas stuff. So if you are looking for some like unique stuff, and really like affordable but expensive looking Christmas decorations have a look there because they have a huge variety and they decorate the shop so lovely it's like a Santa's grotto it's amazing so yeah highly highly recommend that you go and have a look in the range as well as at B&M's Home Bargains and everything I've mentioned so I've got my white Christmas tree it's very very little but it will be perfect just to stand in the background Although it's probably going to tip over, isn't it? So This was around £5 off Amazon as well. And I did go kind of a little bit overboard with the rose gold tinsel. I was scared in case that one was like too big or didn't look right. I mean, it is the perfect colour now that I'm seeing it. But I picked up like this rosy coloured. It's like the tinsel that's on a wire and you can like wind it around things. So although I probably won't put this on the tree, it would be great for the background. So I can't wait to decorate my room and show you what I did with it. So this tinsel was 99 pence from Home Bargains. We also have this spray on snow in Home Bargains, which I thought was really good because our tree is green. But to go with the icy look, we were thinking maybe spray a bit of snow on and see what it looks like. It might not make a huge impact, but we can give it a go. This was only pound as well, so let's get spraying. I got a couple more baubles from B&M's. These ones are very, very similar to the snow globe one that I showed you, except these ones feel very plasticky and not as expensive. But you can't complain because these were a pound each and they do look gorgeous. And, you know, you don't have to have all glass baubles or expensive baubles. Keep on a budget. You can keep it on a budget, but make it gorgeous. There's easy ways to do that. So, yeah. So I got an M for Megan, obviously, and S for Stephen. And I never know which way around to put them because M and S just reminds you of Marks and Spencers. But the other way around is kind of something else. So it's kind of an awkward one. I also got this rose gold foil garland off Amazon. I believe this was around £2.50 and it's like a traditional Christmas. It's like foil and you pull it out, stretch it out and, it, and you hang it across the wall. Is that how you would describe it? So anyways, yeah, I just thought I would try it. I might not need it, but I've got it for if I do. And there's lots of other various bits of tinsel here. 
I thought these ones were really really handy as well. I found these in Home Bargains and they were about 29 pence each. So I got three sets of these and these are like rose gold hanging tinsels. I was thinking about hanging these in the back. It might look too much but I could try it. It's a really good idea selling tinsel that's in strings and not just like in a how do you describe it? Because these would be handy for so many other things. Like this could be used for like arts and crafts. And there's probably a hundred different ways you could use this. So I've got three sets of these. Now I showed you these in my autumn winter haul. But I cannot resist. You have to see them again. So these are my Disney baubles from Primark. These were four pounds. So pound per bauble. But for Disney, Disney stuff is always more expensive than Primark. So I was willing to pay that for, you know, a few really nice kind of different baubles. And not a lot of people are going to have Disney trees. So I just think it would, it would make it look nice. It might make the tree look a bit unique. And they are the absolute perfect colours that we've decided on. I love them so much. Primark have so many amazing Christmas stuff in as well. I could go Christmas shopping for years on end just for Christmas decorations and I think everything else I've kind of already shown you so the tinsel which is silver and sort of blue with shimmering in the light these were a pound each from Primark I have already shown you in my other haul but I may as well just get it all together so I got two of these and they're two meters each which I think is the standard for tinsel like I said Primark have such amazing pretty Christmas decorations in and while we're on the topic of Primark, if you've been wondering where this little guy's from, ooh, he wants to hit us. If you've been wondering where he's from, he's also from Primark. It's absolutely adorable and I need a name for him. This is going downstairs, probably under the tree or on the windowsill, something like that. But he's absolutely adorable. This was £3.50. And yeah. Someone name them for us, please. This tinsel also has like a shimmer of turquoise, which is really good that places are doing that. Must be a popular theme, but we didn't look for inspiration. We just kind of thought in our heads, let's go like icy themed. This was £1.50 from B&M's and it has snowflakes coming off, which are really, really pretty. And I think it's just kind of unique. It's something different. It's not just your plain tinsel. This could go around the fireplace or the TV unit on the windowsill. I'm probably going to put stuff like this all over the place. And I think that is everything I got. So I've been filming this for 45 minutes. So if this is split into two parts, I apologise. There has been so much stuff to get through and I want to show you it all. I'm so excited for Christmas. And this is the most effort I've been putting into my content like ever. I just hope that you enjoy my videos and I want everyone to get into the Christmas spirit and just really enjoy the time. So keep an eye out for my Christmas room decorating video very soon. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you all again next time.